Hello everyone in Cyber World. Welcome back to another video. I'm Jennifer. And I'm Richard and this is our channel we call Poor Man's DIY. Today we begin a series of reviews on the longer Nano Pro and accessories. And I'm here to ensure that Mr. Poor Man does not engrave our kitchen table. That's not going to happen, I think. Today we're going to start to review the Nano Pro engraver, so let's get started. Contained within is the base plate, screws, thumb drive for software, Allen wrench, thumb screws, positioning brackets, a mounting bracket, the electric lifting bracket, goggles, the protective cover, and last but not least, the laser unit itself. So we begin by installing the electric lift bracket onto the base plate. Now we install the mounting bracket. Now we install the laser unit onto the bracket. All right, that's pretty much it for installing the laser itself. There is a protective cover that we will get into a little bit later. Um, but now what we're going to have to do is we have to connect this up to a laptop. Now, Longer has some software on their own. It's kind of limited, and this is not a dig to say that Longer has done anything wrong. They're a laser maker. They're not necessarily a software maker, but the software that they do have is adequate. Um, we've done a review in the past, and, it, and we, we tested it out, and it works to do the basic things. Um, um, but they also show a couple other software that you connect to it. We're going to go ahead and use Lightburn. We use Lightburn for all of our other uh, laser cutters that we have. So we're going to go ahead and use that and not give an example of how you can use the longer um, uh, software itself. Um, we're going to connect a laptop. We're going to show you what we need to do to plug things in, where things go. And then from there, we're going to start testing this out and seeing how the engraving itself works. We're going to connect everything up. It's all color coded. Attaching this is held by magnets, and then we're going to put that there. And next, this is going to connect to the computer. And last, we power it up. When using any laser engraver, the laser has to be at an optimal height in order to engrave properly into the surface of the item that you're engraving. Okay, now the Longer Pro Nano comes with two options of how you can do this. Option one is you can use a ruler that came with it. Um, the laser has to be 11 centimeters or 110 millimeters uh, from the top of the laser to the surface itself. Or there's a feature in here that you can use the, the laser itself and it's going to show two pinpoint and as you go higher or lower the pinpoints will line up and into one when it's aligned to one that means that you've got the, the perfect alignment so we're gonna go ahead and show you how to do both of those okay so to do this we're gonna start off with the auto uh, adjustment first by powering on the laser itself Next, in this particular case, it came with some sample wood that we're going to go ahead and use as a temp, uh, test item here. We're going to place that in there. So now we're going to turn on the laser here. And this might be kind of hard to see. Let me give it a little cover here. Can you see the two dots? The two dots located right there. All right. Now, by adjusting the height using the electric thing, we're going to adjust this until it's one point. Now that's the perfect focus on that. If we were to have done this manually, we could put this ruler up against it and then up, uh, lowered it or raised it until it was, here we'll do it this way, sorry. Maybe this way would be better. There we go. And it should be at 11 centimeters. And it's pretty much spot on there. Okay, and there you go. Now, 
I think I'm going to go ahead and stick with the automated way. It seems to be a little bit easier instead of using the measuring. I used up all the uh, sample pieces of wood that were provided uh, just so that I can dial in to figure out exactly where the center is going to be uh, once it starts engraving. And then I used my own pieces of wood, which was a little bit too large to place on top. So I actually uh, took the uh, Nano Pro, placed it on top of a piece of wood that was a little too large to place on the base itself, and I started engraving. Okay, I'm pretty impressed with that. Let's see if you can come in closer to this here. Uh, the lines and whatnot are actually really crisp for such a small uh, engraver. This did a really good job for just engraving purposes. Looks good to me. I like the wood engraving, but I would like to try a stone coaster. This came out really good. Lastly, let's try a metal business card and see how this comes out. I'm truly amazed. This came out beautifully. Overall, I think the Longer Nano Pro is perfect for small projects, such as keychains, coasters, business cards, and it doesn't take up a lot of workspace. I too like this product a lot as well. Um, it was very easy to install. Installation took just a matter of minutes. Uh, the product itself seems very solid. Everything is, is well placed together. Once screwed in, there's no moving around. Uh, real easy to handle, like it's ideal. It is mobile. You can move this from one place to another, uh, unlike a lot of the other lasers that are larger and, and they just don't fit. So on that note, I find it very good. However, let's be honest, I wanna talk about a few things that I have some minor concerns about. Okay, here's the issue that I have with this. And to be honest with you, I'm not sure it's necessarily a bad thing. I think I understand why they want to do this. This protective coating here. Um, if you're familiar with lasers, and if you're not, the laser beam itself is very dangerous, especially if you're for kids around, they can stick their hand under it, and it's also uh, bad for the eyes. Fortunately, they have included a pair of goggles on here that you can actually use um, without this shield. The shield itself is a great idea, but the problem I have with this is when you put in a, an item in here that you want to, to uh, engrave, the problem is I can't, if, the, if I don't have it set on the base, I can't get into it easily to readjust it. So what I'm gonna have to do is lift this high enough and either way up so that I can get my fingers in here to adjust it and get it focused and straightened out and then bring it back down. And that takes a lot of a lot of time. So trying to get your fingers in here once it's focused, uh, I uh, even my tiny fingers won't fit in there. So you have to move this up, readjust it, move it down. You may have to do this several times until you get it lined up properly. The other thing is, if you try to do this without this on it, and if it's focused properly, a lot of times you can't even get it in there. So. I, I say that's a little bit of a concern for me, but I think they're doing this strictly because safety is more important than inconvenience. So because of that, they want to make sure that your eyes and kids are, are protected so they have this wonderful shield on there. It just makes it a little bit inconvenient. I don't know the proper solution on how to go about that, but that's the only thing that I can think of that I disliked about it. Okay, so far so good. Um, I'm very impressed with this. It's uh, very compact as I mentioned. Um, next week we're gonna be given a little bit more information as we connect this up to a rotary device. The rotary device is when you put a tumbler or cup, something round in a sphere and it allows you to engrave on it. We're gonna be testing on that as well and give you a further opinion to see if it gets even better for us or if we run into some problems or not. So until we meet again, bye-bye.